Spine Gang. Today, I want to show you two of my very favorite mid-back exercises. These are really important because oftentimes we find ourselves working on the computer, driving, looking at our mobile devices for long periods of time, preparing meals, caring for children, you name it, the vast majority of the work that we do is below us and in front of us. And it's very easy for our mid-backs to get into this very slouchy, collapsed posture. From here, it's really hard to have good head and neck posture because you're just not starting from a good stable foundation. Your mid-back is the foundation for your head and neck. And if your mid-back is engaged, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to keep that good head and neck posture. First up is wall angels. When I first learned this exercise, I could not understand how this was gonna be beneficial at all. But then when I tried it, I could not believe how challenging it was. So give this a try. You might be surprised as well. First thing you gotta do is find a bare patch of wall. And the second thing is to get into a wall sit. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your knees are bent at about 45 degrees. Any more than that, and it's probably gonna be a loss of what you're going for here in the workout. So once you're in that wall sit, you wanna make sure that your low back is flush to the wall so that all of your low back is contacting the wall by rotating your hips forward and making sure that your low back is so stuck tight to that wall that you can't get your hand inside the wall at all. So this is wrong, this is right. From there, you're gonna get your mid back sucked up to that wall as much as you possibly can with your head against the wall as well. From here, arms are gonna go up 90 degrees, elbows are gonna be at 90 degrees as well and you're gonna get your elbows as close to the wall as you can. So I haven't done these in a while, to be honest. So right now, I don't really have the strength and mobility to get my elbows all the way to the wall, and that's fine. You're just gonna get them as close to the wall as you possibly can. From here, maintain that leg bend, maintain your low back sucked against the wall, maintain your mid back, maintain your head against the wall, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and extend our arms all the way overhead, making sure that our elbows stay as close to the wall as we can possibly get them. And you may find that as you go on, you're gonna be able to get your elbows closer and closer to the wall. Start with six reps, maybe do three sets, so a total of 18 and make sure that you're getting really quality reps because quality is way more important than quantity. Once you get really good at these, maybe you work up to three sets of 12, but ultimately remember the quality of these is gonna be way more important than the quantity. The second exercise we'll call air angels. And this one's really simple. You're gonna start by getting your pelvis engaged, right? Make sure your core is engaged and make sure your mid back is also engaged and extended. Then, from here, you get your shoulder blades engaged. And how to do that is you're gonna lift your shoulders up, you're gonna pull them back, and imagine you've got a pencil that you're squeezing between those shoulder blades. From here, palms are out, and with an extended arm, you are going to bring your arms all the way up, maintaining those shoulder blades, keeping that pencil pinched, and then all the way to the top. Bring that back down. We'll try six of those, and maybe work up to three sets of six. And then if you're a maniac at these, you can maybe work up to three sets of 12, but just like with the wall angels, the air angels are an exercise that prioritizes quality over quantity. And I guarantee that you're gonna find that you're very much more able to, with ease, stand up straight with better posture 
keeping your heart elevated to the sky after these exercises. I'm Dr. Marco Accordo, live higher.